Hi, my friends. Welcome back. I am attempting another Dutch pour on a 10 by 20 inch canvas. And my goal is to create a wavy Dutch pour like I've been seeing recently in my Facebook feed and it looks so pretty. I have never done one of these before. I tried in a previous video and I didn't like it and I ended up making flowers which I love. So to begin I am using some gold and white paint for my background and then I'm just gonna start layering my colors of paint on my canvas in the wavy lines. With this one, I'm going to use my world's smallest leaf blower. I feel that when I use my small travel hair dryer, it just always blows out weird. I feel like it's just too big, but I think it's more just me. It's more operator error than anything. And as you can see in this, it's really not working out very well. And it's because, I think, I'm not adding extra paint on either side of that wavy line, so the paint really doesn't have a lot of room to work. So instead of scraping this, because I really hate it, <laughs> I'm just going to fiddle around with it and try some more um, techniques and just have some fun with it. I got my popsicle stick, tried to draw some lines. I felt like I can blow out some more paint in a couple areas and just see kind of how this painting wants to exist and evolve. As I go, I'm getting a little more witty with my stir stick and doing long lines, which I really think that's so cool. And I'm trying to avoid blowing out paint and making it muddy. But it's just so relaxing. I love watching paint move with an air blower. I did mix all of my paints with two parts Floetrol to one part paint. And I did add a little bit of water just to mix them a little thinner than I usually would. And that's why I thought I can get away without the additional paint on either side of that line because my paints are thinner than I usually have them. So I was not happy with this. I started adding some paint on the left hand side of the canvas to see if I could do a bloom and see how that'll turn out. And I'm going for the hair dryer, my mini travel hair dryer, which is working out right now. I love it. Look at those cells and those lacings on the petals. And I got my stir stick, started forming some petals, bringing the white into the flower to create the image of a flower. And look at the cells pop up in the gold. So pretty. Now I do think what I did previously is a good background and just watching it, having fun. I started thinking, well, maybe I will turn this sideways and I'll make a stem. I got some of my green paint. I shaped it down the length of the canvas and just started pulling out some leaves. Kind of reminds me of a desert weed here in Arizona. We get some really pretty weeds that have some flowers that are yellow and goldish. And they really are meant to be pulled, but they are beautiful. And as I just continue to shape the stem and the leaves, I am loving how grungy my little accidental flower is appearing. And on the bottom right of the flower, I can see some green popping up, some green cells. And it is amazing how these cells, you just leave the paint and it just grow. They just come alive. Here's a close up of the flower. Look at it, I love it. It is so cool, look how grungy. And then here's the background with the stem and the weed leaves. 
So let me know what you think about this project in the comment box below. Here is the dried, unsealed version. I took this video in my backyard and it dried well. Looks awesome, grungy and lovely. Thank you for painting with me. I will see you in the next video. Bye.